Previously on Cars Adventures, Sally has been running for mayor of Radiator Springs. Bye, Sally. Thanks for staying, Nick. And don't forget to vote for Sally for mayor. Sally, you do realize that you're running unopposed, right? Nobody else is running for mayor. It's just you. So... Getting other cars to vote doesn't really matter. You're guaranteed a spot. And, I mean, everyone in the town loves you, so why wouldn't you get that spot even if you were running against someone, right? Also, only votes from cars that live in Radiator Springs count towards our election. So, uh, not really a point in doing that. Right. Sorry, Sheriff. It's just, you know, trying to spread the word that I'm running for mayor. I literally just told you that it, it doesn't really matter. That you're running. You're gonna win, Sally. You're running unopposed, and honestly, you'd be my choice for mayor. I think you're exactly what this town needs. Thanks, Sheriff. Huh. Yeah, I guess Sheriff is right. Nobody's running against me. I don't even need to be worried. And everyone in the town loves me. There's nothing to be concerned about. Nothing at all. Sally Carrera. Oh, sorry. Sally McQueen. Or did you keep your Carrera last name? I don't remember. And quite frankly, I don't care. Ugh. Valerie V8 from the city council. How can I help you today? Help? You think I need your help with something? No. Of course I don't. The only thing that needs help here is this ugly town of yours. <laughs> Man. Let me tell you, you could say, oh, Lady McQueen put us back on the map all you want, but it does not stop the fact that you just are in this ugly little town, Sally. Let me tell you, this whole place is just a trash heap. The fact that anyone would choose to live here, it's ridiculous. It's so old-fashioned. I mean, come on. Who would want to stay here? One of the first buildings that you see on your way into this town is this ugly little junkyard run by some creepy buck-toothed hillbilly tow truck. Hey! Who are you talking about? <laughs> Man, what an idiot. Valerie, I'll have you know that everybody in the town and everyone that comes to this town absolutely adores Mater and that his junkyard has had its best financial year in a very long time this past year. All thanks to Colin Borev, who we hired while Mater was off on a road trip, who decided to add some more modern elements to Mater's junkyard. Oh, really? Oh, of course, of course, of course. Modern elements, because this guy probably can't use a laptop to save his life. Isn't it funny, Sally? How you say that this shop has had its best year in a long time? The one year that the tow truck that runs it was mainly not present for because he was off on a road trip? Yeah, 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 it had a good year because you hired someone else who wasn't the ugly tow truck and he decided to modernize it. Ha! Of course it would do better. That's what this town needs, Sally. It needs to be modernized. I mean, look at this guy. He looks like he's stuck in the middle of the 60s. Well, you dress for the job you want to have, man. And what exactly is that job, Fillmore? Oh, that's right. Selling your disgusting organic fuels. <laughs> Are those things even FDA approved? FDA? Yeah, the Food and Drug Administration. Have they even approved of your disgusting organic fuels? Uh, no, Valerie, because they are homemade and they are completely safe. Okay? My fuels have never hurt anyone. Well, except for that one time. Alright, buddy, I'm gonna try all this spicy fuel. Oh, this is pretty good! And who cares if the Food and Drug Administration hasn't made my foods official or whatever? Because a different FDA has approved them instead. What? Yeah, that's right. The FDA, the Fillmore's Drinks Administration. And those guys said that my drinks were pretty cool. What? That's a joke, Valerie. Something that business types like you can't comprehend. Now buy some fuel for me, or uh, just, just move along, alright? I'm not gonna start a fight here, man. Just keep moving along. Don't come back here. Hello, Valerie. It's always a interesting day when you're in town. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, Sarge. I'm investigating your shop. You know why? Oh, oh, that's right, because you 
are selling military technology in here. This is a howitzer cannon. The cannon is deactivated, Valerie. You know that. You know that because every time you come in here, you start yelling at me for selling military surplus. You do know that this is a surplus hut, right? That's kind of what we do. And and who's this back here? Is that? Are you cloning people in the back of your shop, Sarge? What? No, that that's Robo Sarge. I. Bought him on a sale where they were going to make a little animatronic based off of you to use for advertising. He barely works. Isn't that right, Robo Sarge? See, I told you, he barely works. So you, Sarge, are not only selling military weapons in the shop, you are also supporting scam businesses that claim they can make robotic duplicates of you. Well, no, that wasn't really supporting a scam business. I, I, uh... I thought it could be a cool marketing ploy, you know, have a little animatronic Sarge to, to advertise things. It's not really supporting it. I barely take him out anymore. Ugh, whatever. And don't even get me started on Lizzie. Poor, poor Lizzie, who's been rotting away here for over a century. Why is her store still around? Why haven't we booted her out of town yet? I thought we replaced the rusty tow truck with a different car. Why don't we replace Lizzie already, huh? If we moved her to the other side of the country, she wouldn't even notice. She'd be too busy being asleep. Isn't that right, Lizzie? Can you hear me, Lizzie? Or are you too busy taking your 80th nap today? Exactly what I thought. This whole town is an embarrassment, Sally. Every single shop in this town is an embarrassment. Look at Flo's V8 Cafe. Why is that sign so bent over and, and wobbly? Ugh. And and these two little cars, you think that they're fit to sell tires? Uh, I'm sorry, who are you again? I'm Valerie V8 from the city council. Oh, right, right. Remember her, Guido? We said we would never speak of her in public. Hm. And look at this courthouse. This is your courthouse and your firehouse? It's tiny. It's pathetic. Can your fire truck even fit in there? <laughs> oh, Sally. Sally, Sally, Sally. I must say, it's admirable you trying to run for mayor and all, but this town, it needs change. Real change, or else it might be back off the map again. Forever. And that's why I'm here today, Sally. I'm here because I am running for mayor.